we are live. <laughs> Time to test it out. Might as well, right? We're walking yep. around. Five people in the house. <laughs> the thing I don't like about this is the chat is always so hard to see. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. Watch these guys do it, and I'm like, I think how there's can you a. Read it? I think there's a third-party app that you can get to where it pops up a little bit easier. But what's up, Diane? Hello, hello. What is going on, everybody? I'm doing a little evening walk here. At the same spot as usual, Cornerstone Park. But video is nice and stable now. What's up, Greg? So video is nice and stable now, thanks to Mr. Allen here. Mr. Allen hooking it up with the stabilizer. So, Got some nice smooth video for you guys coming soon. Everything should be a lot easier to watch. So here we are. What's up, Ryan? Nora, Greg, Fong. Houses on the left. Rooftop balconies. Now these are actually apartments over here. So yeah, these are just apartments, but they have balconies, There's balconies. So, we got Hawaii, Ryan, it seems warm there. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> very warm. Not too bad right now though, because of the sunset, a little bit later. I think it was, what, 109 today? Yeah pretty hot today but I didn't leave the house too much beautiful night there I agree it's pretty much always a beautiful night here I don't think there's not there's not really any nights that aren't beautiful yesterday's sunset was a little bit more colorful but this one is still pretty nice Actually, it looks really nice on the phone. Nice, like, purple blue in the sky there. Nice mountains. Nice and smooth. I agree, it looks great. Uh, do you know the name of those apartments? These are Elysian at Stone Lake. E L Y S I A N. Hard deep. What's up, man? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Oh, this is so much better. <laughs> Night and day. Because <laughs> I, I had the tripod that I was using for a while, but it still uh -oh. still doesn't look as good. I noticed uh, I know Jacob was using one on one of his videos, and then I never saw it again. Everything else oh, went back. Yeah, he went back to the selfie stick. I think he was having issues with it. Um, hopefully that, I mean, that one got really good reviews. Um, a couple of the drone guys I follow were talking about it. And what they would do is they mount their GoPro to it also. Oh, so you could kind of get two yeah. videos. You could go back and edit one of them. Right. That's cool, and, yeah. And with the GoPro, um, I think around 60 frames, if you do the frame rate above 160, you lose the hyper smooth. Mm -hmm. So with that, you could go up to 120 frames and get some nice buttery slow-mo. Nice. Hope we don't get West Nile. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not here. Yeah, that sunset's that beautiful. beautiful. Still streaming live? Yeah. Yeah, right on. Looks even nicer on the phone though. Yeah. It, like the colors <laughs> pop a little bit more on the phone. You get that, get that teal and orange. Yeah. 
How long have you been using FCPX? Since I started editing, the first the first thing I edited on actually was Adobe oh, God. Premiere. Premiere would have and it just it's too much, isn't it? Yeah, Final Cut's way more simple. It does everything I need. It's uh renders quicker, you know, you don't oh. have to render things out. Yeah. Which I don't understand why people still do that. Right. I mean most people don't need to be using Adobe Premiere. I mean, if you're doing like movies and stuff, I could see where some of the features right. come or in handy. Or collaborating with a bunch of people who need to get in there. Right. Yeah. My name is Alba. What's up, Alba? So, we got 14 viewers. Make sure if you guys are watching to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't. Beautiful sunset here. Man, that looks, I mean, that just looks amazing on the phone. Look at that. Beautiful out. What's up, Steph? Any recommendation? Stay good and cheap before moving. I don't know. Do you know of any places that are like? Too much. I mean, Airbnb, right? <laughs> Airbnb, I think might be one of the better ways to go. Yeah. I would. Or um. If you don't do Airbnb, you could do one of those extended stays. Those are pretty decent. Not like one of the bougie ones. Look for the extended stay America is usually pretty good. And they do, I think they do weekly and monthly rates as well. So that'd probably be the way to go. Oh, that feels good that right feels here. Good. <laughs> Get a little, little cool wind here from the water. It's like there's some gnats or something there though. Tell you what's now. <laughs> Careful. Good in yourself. I'm doing pretty good, man. Just hanging out here with Mr. Allen. Are you a fan of the Marvel films? I never got too into them to be 100% honest. I like them, but I've never I've never gotten too crazy about them like some people do. They've always been good when I've seen them, though. Cameron, great vids. Thank you, Cameron. And I'm moving out there. Hope to connect at some point. For sure, man. Make sure. The best way to contact me is usually through Instagram. Because it's just way easier to send messages and communicate. There's no, no messaging feature on YouTube, which I still find kind of weird that they don't have that. I think they had it for a little while when that Google Plus was was around, and then I think once they shut that down, I think it right. just shut the whole thing down. Yeah, they've had some missteps with the Google stuff. Yeah. Google circles. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I used to do all kinds of weird stuff. Repeat the name of the places. I would look for just the Extended Stay America. Yeah. So I think there's about three or four of them here in Vegas when I looked, so. Extended stay America. That'd be the recommendation there. So, Cameron, uh, Instagram is in the description. So, that'll be easier than me trying to say it out loud. But if you just click the description, there's uh, social media links towards the bottom of the page. So, you'll be able to find me on there. Phone ever overheat? Huh? Ever have your phone overheat? Oh my god, yeah. See, that's the other issue why I can't do walk-in videos. Okay. That's one of the main... I had that happen when I was doing the other one the other day. It was uh, overheated twice, so I had to take the case off, and that helped. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I guess if you What's have going? a white phone, it probably would be a little uh, bit better, too. But yeah. I, don't li I don't like the white phones, usually. They just... I don't like the way it looks. I had a white iPhone... What did I have? An iPhone 4? 
No. You're dating yourself. 4S. And then after that, I had the 6 in white. So I had the 4 and the 6 in white. Everything else I've had this color. Dottie has arrived. Hey, <laughs> What's, up? Dottie. What's up? What's up, Dottie? <laughs> So that back there is, that's Frenchman Mountain, guys. That's a really awesome hike to do. Have you done that one? The one with the red light? Yeah. No. <laughs> that looks like... It's an awesome hike. I see it from my house. It's, it's quite far, but the thing about it, it's a lot of uphill, obviously, but the, the trails, it's a lot of loose gravel. So you have to really wear some good shoes. Okay. But it's a fun one. Just... A lot of switchbacks? Or no, zero. Wow. <laughs> What's the elevation? Yeah, no idea but it's it's a hell of a hike but the view up there is just it's one of the best views of the entire valley it's amazing so i would definitely do that one i'd like to do it again once it cools down What's that, another month and a half? yeah about october that's a nice reflection yeah oh yeah yeah about october is when it'll cool down so i remember I remember my buddy came last year in September and we went to the Hoover Dam and I remember it was just brutal. Is that the one you broadcasted from or you did a video? No, I didn't do a video at that time. I was actually doing one when we were there and I forgot to bring the second battery and my battery died halfway through so I couldn't even do it. So I scrapped the entire video once I did it, but yeah, but I did redo it. I did do a Hoover right, Dam Right, I saw that yeah. one. What was that, May, I think? I can't remember. Yeah. That. They look yeah, see, there's some nice colors in the sky now. See, now they don't look as good on the phone. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> now they look better in person. <laughs> of course. Is your last name Spanish? Yes. It is Puerto Rican. So I'm, I'm mainly Puerto Rican and Italian for anybody wondering. But I do have other, other roots, but those are the main two. Hello, Dottie. It's starting to get dark pretty quickly. Yeah, this is gonna make the videos so much better. I don't mind like keeping them up now because sometimes I almost want to take lives down, like make them private because they're kind of shaky, but if they provide value, they provide exactly. value. Freaking, yeah. yeah, when you were walking Sunday, I'm like, it was bad. Man, it was bad, man. Called me, I'll give you a ride. Yeah, it was bad. That was brutal. Because I didn't even have the tripod. That was 100% handheld. Oh. That's wow. why it was so bad. Because I walked to uh, Chipotle, and oh, then yeah. from Chipotle, I was gonna walk to church. But I was like, after that, I got an Uber to church because it was just. I was like, I don't even want to walk another 10 minutes. Yeah, because you got. <laughs> you're over there. What is it near Calbunga Bay? Is that where it is? Pretty much, yeah. It was a good hike. That's... So I did that, and then after that, I was good. We got to the nap after watching your video. Oh, the walking one? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, that's good. Well, actually, I went in my foot. I was actually going to take a nap today, and I didn't. I got myself up. I'm going to get to my age. Do well, I used to nap? never. Power naps are awesome. I used to never nap. But now I, I do pretty frequently now. 20 minute power naps are perfect. 20% battery, all right. So we'll keep going till 10, or maybe less if the sun goes away, but. It's Alba's birthday. Happy birthday, Alba. Yeah, it's all blown out. See, that's the thing about, like on YouTube, you can't like, once you're in, you can't tap to like move the focus again. Oh, really? I didn't know that. No. Okay. Good to know. What is the name of that pond or park? Uh, this is Cornerstone Park. I don't know if the lake has a name, but Cornerstone Park, pretty much this is just like all recycled water is what it is. So a lot of the city here recycles the water. Um, that's how they, you know, conserve water. So this is a big reservoir where a lot of that goes. So. What's up, Major Pain? Major Pain and Major Pain in the house. Thank you, sir. You got it, Cameron. Oh, you got it, Hardeep. 
course. Railroad Lake, apparently. Oh, well, if that's the name, then Railroad Lake. Good to know. I did not know that. So lights are starting to come on now. It's starting to be a little darker. The sky looks nice. Purple color. Oh, thank you, Dottie. Thank you, Dottie. Love to everybody. Love to you as well. It actually looks pretty nice at night. I've never been here after the sunset. It's much cooler as well. <laughs> so everything is here. <laughs> the sun goes down. Well, that's why I typically, if, if I walk to, sometimes I'll go to Winco mm -hmm. or um, I usually go to the Terribles and just grab a drink or something. So right. usually once the sun goes down or sunset is pretty much when I go. But yeah, I mean, that's a nice view. Look at those mountains, guys. Starting to get that high ISO fuzziness. <laughs> that grain, just yeah. make it black and white and be filmed again. Yeah, there's no ducks either, they're all gone. I wonder where they go at night. I mean, where do they... There's so many of them. You have YouTube TV. I don't, but I'm probably going to get it for sports season coming up. Or Sling, I don't know. I got Sling last year. Whoever has the better price, because they both do the same thing. Yeah, so this was your first time out here? <laughs> really? Yeah, I've seen your video on it, and uh, what's her name? Let your light shine. Oh, she, she, oh, she did one out here? Yeah, and it was blowing hard, and all you could hear was the wind. Oh, really? I didn't hear it. Oh. That oh, that's the worst. It is. See, and there's only so much you can do with that on the phone, too. It's yeah. hard to... It's nothing. You know, if you get the <laughs> the wireless, um, or the, the Rode Micro, they have that, but it's I've got, got that, that giant... And then you can't you, have it on the gimbal. No, then yeah. you've got the dead cat on it. And, yeah, it's yeah. just massive. Then you sound muffled. <laughs> can't That's probably feel, why I haven't posted anything. Can't feel the heat here in California. <laughs> how did you guys connect? Well, YouTube. How did? Yeah, you saw me on YouTube, yep. right? Yeah, you saw me on YouTube, yeah. and uh, then he messaged me on Instagram, and here we are. It's the dad and me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'm always open to meet people, you know. I know some people aren't, but, you know, I'm open to meet anybody. Just no weird messages. You send me weird messages, I won't meet you, but... Well, I've, I've had some interesting... I'm sure. There's it's not too common, but I, I have had a couple weird things come up. Yeah, that's why I was like neutral places. Yeah. Cool. Well. Yeah. Gorgeous view. Yeah, I agree. This is a nice. And the cool thing is, if you're in any of these, um, if you're in any of these apartments here, you can pretty much get a mountain view. Um, if you're over in these ones, you can get a strip view. Um, some of those over there as well, if you're on the third floor in the front, but lake view, strip view, mountain view. So. Yeah, pretty much everywhere you get. You get mountains here pretty much anywhere you look, which is nice. Steve, what's up, man? Steve in the house. Yeah, see, it feels pretty good out now. It's nice. Yeah. Wonder, will that stand up with yeah, the phone? Yeah, it will. Uh -huh. oh, okay. All right. Time for selfie mode here. So, do a little bit. Maybe if anybody has any questions or something, maybe I can answer some questions for a couple minutes while we're hanging out. So, Henderson is very nice. I was there last week. 
Yeah, I like Henderson for sure. This is my favorite area. I still get a lot of questions of people asking me what area. 90% of my videos are about Henderson, so Henderson is uh, definitely my favorite preferred area. It's the only area I've lived at as well. I have friends that have lived in Summerlin, but I like it over here. So many nice places to live there. There is a lot of nice places. It depends what you're, what you're into. But um, I like Green Valley area. That's my favorite personally. But um, McDonald Ranch, Rhodes Ranch, um, Green Valley, obviously. If you want to be away from people, like away from people, you go to like Henderson towards Boulder City. If you want to be a little more isolated. But I like it here because you can get to the strip in 10, 15 minutes. Airport, 10, 15 minutes. Um, and when you're over here, you don't even know you're in Vegas anymore. So you can get away from it when you want, and you can go to it when you want. So a lot of good places and a lot of bad places. Uh, I mean, there's definitely there's bad places anywhere you go. But only real bad areas, I would say, from personal experience, are just east of the Strip, just west of the Strip. Air Force Base, pretty much, is uh, what I've heard. Downtown can have some sketchiness as well. But overall, it's, uh, it's a pretty good place. Tell us about a weird encounter. I've never had, actually, a weird encounter here yet, thank God. Nothing weird. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> so if you're weird, don't find me. Please don't find me. Yeah, it feels nice out now. It's probably still at least 100, though. But without the sun, you don't, um, you don't really feel it. Where did you say to avoid in Henderson? Just anything off Boulder Highway. That's just my, I mean, from what I've seen on Boulder Highway, anytime I've gone down there, it's just not usually the best visual sights. I always see cops there. You see more homeless that way, shopping carts, community watch, usually not a good sign. Do you know anything about area just north of Summerlin? Not really, to be honest. But Sun City area, I think, is pretty nice. I've went up there very briefly. That was a nice area, and then that's there's like a bunch of like little lakes over there. I don't remember what the area was called. It was like a connected little city. That was cool. friend that lives far in the northwest in their neighborhood. Yeah, northwest is nice as well. A little more isolated though. They're going to be about 30 minutes from a lot of things. <clears throat> but northwest is nice. It's quieter. There's a lot of newer construction up there. There's more land. And you're close to Mount Charleston. So if you're into uh, skiing, snowboarding, winter activities, or you just want to escape the heat, then um, northwest is a good option. Have you ate at Peter Piper Pizza? Nope. Not sure where that is. I've eaten, my favorite is Pizza Rock. I've been there uh, two or three times now. And I had another one over here, but I don't remember the name. Probably not a good sign. But the food was good. It was um, just off of Gibson. I had a Stromboli there. It was pretty good. I don't remember the name of it. But the freeway? Yeah. I don't remember the name. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was good. I just don't remember the name. 
Usually if I order pizza, it's just Papa John's. But if I'm going to go somewhere, Pizza Rock. I like Bistro Pizza Rock. Pizza. Bistro's pretty good. Yeah, it's right over there by the Jack in the Box. Is that what you're talking about on Gibson? That is it, yes. Bistro. bistro. Yeah. yeah, okay. So Bistro Pizza is pretty good. Yeah, that one was good. Pizza Rock, if you go there after um, 3 to 6, they have happy hour. And then 10 p.m. to close, they have happy hour. So you can get personal pizza for like five, six, seven bucks, depending on what you get on it. And they have drink specials and all that, but it's a good spot. Desert Shores in Summerlin. That's the place I was thinking of was uh, Desert Shores. That is a nice area. Sun City is 55 and up a lot. Well, that's good to know. I didn't know that, but... I mean, there's a lot of retirement communities throughout Vegas in general. There's one right across the street here. But it's more of a, it's not like a, it's more of a, like, they take care of you there. It's like a, what would they call that? It's not assisted living, but it's like a, it's like a higher end, I guess. They really pamper you. They give you, like, dinner every night, breakfast in the mornings concierge oh, wow. yeah they have all kinds of like crazy it's like i think four grand a month starting yeah it's pretty intense <laughs> what's up jesse jesse's in the house so i'll probably keep this stream going for like another five minutes or so guys so any questions feel free while i'm on here our Green Valley, Whitney Ranch area, uh, okay to live. Yeah, Green Valley, Green Valley and Whitney Ranch are good, for sure. Closer, those are closer to Paradise. No, those are those aren't close to Paradise. You're still. I mean, that's only two miles up the road from here. Three miles, maybe. What do you do for fun? Honestly, my hobby right now is YouTube, to be honest with you. <laughs> that's that's kind of my hobby right now. That, um, anything that involves physical fitness, weightlifting, I like running, exercising, being active, biking, anything of that sort, hiking. It's just too hot right now to hike, but I do enjoy hiking. Uh, do you golf? I don't. I'd be open to doing it. I haven't done it in a long time. I do like to go to the driving range. <laughs> Some whack, whack them. I think, I don't know, golf is just so slow for me. I could do it, but it's, I don't know. I guess on a Sunday, just relaxing, I don't know. Top golf is cool, yeah. Find an apartment in Vegas. How can we connect with you or meet you in person? Well, I don't, I don't do any type of like real estate things to find that. Um, so, who's the? What's the one girl that does the real estate videos? Lacey or Lacey. something? I don't know her don't YouTube know her. channel, but uh, <laughs> Las Vegas gal or Las yeah, Vegas girl. It. Yeah, she she does more of the. Uh, <laughs> Stuff like that. I don't know if she does apartments or rentals. I know she mostly does houses. Um, but the best thing to do, and what I did, was just go on to apartments.com, rent.com, put in your criteria, put in your budget. It's going to show you everything that comes up. Um, take a list of five to ten places that you like. Take a trip out here. See them all. Pick one. I mean, that's that's really the best um, the best way to do it. That way you have options because you may find one online that looks really nice you get here and it doesn't look anything like the pictures so that's gonna be the best thing for you to do Zillow rentals yeah you can do Zillow rental I mean there's so many websites Trulia Craigslist um, I think Facebook might even have something now but I can't Lacey, yeah, Las Vegas gal, check her out. She might do, she might do rentals. I I don't know for sure. I know she does houses, but 
that's the best thing to do. That's personally what I did, was I, I wrote them down and went from there. Because the one that I originally thought I wanted was in just west of the strip and I didn't like the area. So that would be the way to do it. Thanks a lot, good idea. Yep, you got it. Trulia Rentals works as well. So, Craigslist has too many scammers. Yeah, you do have to be more careful on Craigslist. Anytime you're working with a um, individual versus a company, you're gonna have to be doing more research, of course. But, did you get a haircut? No, I shaved it. <laughs> I didn't even get a haircut. I, I just took a razor to it. I did, uh, Um, God, what was it? Two weeks ago, I just did the trimmer. And then two days ago, I just did the razor again. Just for the, the heat right now. I'll let it grow back. I don't think I'm going to shave it again. I miss my hair a little bit. Ugh. See, the chat doesn't always pop up. This oh, okay. So that's what you're doing. Seeing it, like, disappears. And I'm a realtor, so I plan on getting market, getting licensed there if I moved good market right now well the market eh, it's not really a buyer's market that's the thing I mean it is for some people if they're moving here from California and places then it can be but for the average person who's from here not really but it will be I think it will be in about a year if um, if I want to work in a casino I need to be part of a union you don't have to be that depends on the property. Some properties require you to be in a union. Um, just depends. I know when I lived in LA, I worked at the W Hotel for a whole two days and uh, <laughs> I had to sign up to be in their union. So some places will require it. Just depends on the hotel. Just go on the website and apply. It's the best thing you can do. Only hot ex strippers get all the work in Vegas. Nah, it's not true. I mean, obviously, if you're good looking, you're gonna be. I mean, they, they just always have everything easier. That's just life. That's the way it is. Have you gone kayaking down the Colorado River? I have not, but I've done a hike to the Colorado River from the uh, Arizona Hot Springs Trail. I did that one. That one was pretty fun. It was long. It was seven miles round trip. Two day hospitality career. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally walked out. It was so bad. I handed them my name tag and left. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever done that. I've, I've never, I'm always not, I'm always one to not do that, but it was that bad that I had to. It was a joke. There are some cards you need to work in Vegas. Yeah, I did a video on that as well. If you go back. Look at the one that's, uh, it says like jobs in Vegas or something like that. There's a video on it. Did you go to Supercuts? No, I went to Tony Cuts. <laughs> what kind of work do you do again? I do mostly video editing, video production. I run another YouTube channel pretty much is my other thing. And I also do fitness coaching for a few clients. But that's the main thing. And that is gonna wrap up this one, guys, because my phone is getting ready to die. I just got the 10% warning, so I need to have some connection for my journey back home. And um, I think I have a video that'll probably be going up on Friday. So check that one out. I may do another live tomorrow now that I have the stabilizer here. So thanks again, <laughs> Alan, for that. So we can get some nice, nice videos and uh, maybe do a little do a little walk tomorrow so i'll catch you guys tomorrow thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one